everyone and welcome to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between the Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, and Core i9. But before we jump into the video, you can check out all of these processors down below on Amazon. They're all linked down below so you can check out the most recent versions, older versions, all that. It's down below. As well as uh, Intel's official page on describing their naming scheme. It's linked down below but it's a bit confusing so I'm going to go through it all here. But if you want that resource, it is down in the description. Now as far as the Intel Core lineup goes, you've got the Pentium, then you've got the Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, and then the newest Core i9. No, we're not going to be talking about Pentium here. It's just not good, and I can't recommend buying one these days because it's old, and it's really, really not that much cheaper than a Core i3. So we're going to start off with the Core i3. The Core i3 is the cheapest Intel CPU on the market, rocking just two cores with hyper-threading, allowing for better multitasking when you're doing a bunch of stuff at once. Say you're working in a word processor, running Chrome, running music, looking at your email, all at the same time. Hyperthreading is going to help you do all that. It has a smaller cache than, say, the Core i5, Core i7, and it's going to be cheaper than the Core i5 and Core i7. Now, that is the thing. It's cheaper for a reason. It's going to have worse performance in those processors, and for gaming in 2018, a Core i3 is probably not going to be great. Now, moving on to the Core i5. There are two types of Core i5. The mobile, which has two cores with hyperthreading, and the desktop, which has four cores with no hyperthreading. All Core i5 however, have better onboard graphics than the Core i3, and they're going to have Turbo Boost, allowing you to boost your gigahertz from, say, 2.8 to 3.8 during heavy workloads. Say you're playing a CPU-intense game, it's going to be able to boost that clock speed up in order to get you that better performance. I could go in more depth with this, but I won't. That's basically all you need. Turbo Boost allows you to get more gigahertz out of an Intel processor whenever it's needed. Now, moving on to the former leader of the Intel lineup. Not anymore. We've got the Core i9. Let's talk about the Core i7. Every Core i7 on the market has hyper-threading, which again helps you when you're doing a lot of multitasking, bunch of different workloads all at once. Depending on the model you pick up, it can have two cores in some of the laptops out there, up to 10 cores in the workstation models of the Core i7. And again, depending on which model, you might just be able to run two sticks of RAM, up to eight sticks of RAM, which is absolutely incredible. And overall, i7 is going to have better onboard graphics. They're going to support more things overall workstation-wise. They have faster and better overall turbo boost, allowing again for you to boost up the gigahertz from say 2.8 to 3.8 gigahertz when needed, and they're obviously, with all the cores, going to have much, much, much more cash than the lower processors in the Intel lineup. But let's talk about the Core i9. The Core i9 has anywhere from that 10 core mark, where the i7 ends, all the way up to 8 cores. Mind blown. If you want to say do a lot of extremely CPU heavy tasks all at once. Let's say you're streaming on Twitch, playing a game, video editing, photo editing all at the same time. A Core i9 is what you're going to want because you're going to be able to handle all those workloads against all of those freaking cores. All of them have hyper threading allowing for anywhere from 20 to 36 threads, depending on the model you buy. Wow, that's insane. And something unique about the Core i9 is when you're turbo boosting, right, what we talked about before, that only happens on one CPU core, normally. But on the Core i9, there are two preferred cores, allowing you to boost on two cores, not just one. This can be great when you're running CPU-heavy tasks that can only use, say, two-ish cores. Games, a lot of games out there do this. You'll see games only want to use two maximum cores cores, and if you can boost on two cores, you're going to get much better performance in that game than, say, you even would with an i7, boosting on one core. These two preferred cores also allow for better overclocking and just overall better performance. Core i9s are powerhouses, and most people won't need them right now. But it's great to see Intel stepping up their game in the processor market. I think they're really starting to feel the heat, and now we can finally start seeing some huge leaps again in the processor industry. Overall, though, the Core i3 is the cheapest and going to give you the lowest performance, all the way up to the Core i9, which is going to give you the best performance. Now, I would like to say the general rule of thumb within these model lines is this plus this equals this, and that's how you can determine this is the better processor, but that's just simply not the case. Below in the description is a link to Arc, which is Intel's website where you can get all the specs on all their different CPUs. As long as you compare CPUs within the same generation, you should be able to do comparisons with the numbers there without having much trouble. If you start moving generations, 
generations, that can be a problem, and I know that makes it more difficult, but unfortunately, Intel doesn't seem to really care. But nevertheless, if you're interested in any Core i3, i5, i7, or i9 processors, you can check them out down below on Amazon. If you buy through those links, you do directly support this channel, and we are forever grateful for that. But nevertheless, if you've got any questions, post them in the comment section down below. We try our best to answer every single comment we get. Like this video, subscribe to the channel for more awesome PC gaming tech content every single day. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.